Hi, welcome to The Real Deal on the Virtual Channel Network. I'm casting director and co-host Ivy Eisenberg. I'm Ryan Glasgow, manager and the other half of this Donnie and Marie. Wow, which one am I? Donnie, <laughs> hello. <laughs> right? Hello. Right? I don't lie. Actually. I'm telling you. I have his album, actually. You know what? I think I was more of a Sean Cassidy I think that fan. was the most embarrassing yeah. thing I've ever said on this show. Yeah, and I was moving away from Marie Osmond territory because I'm, you know, I don't want to make any Marie Osmond You're a little jokes. bit country. <laughs> I'm a little bit rock and roll. <laughs> Wait, or is it the reverse? All right, let's move on from the Osmonds. It's just too depressing. All right. Um, Today we're going to watch David Urey's yes. demo reel. Good character actor. Let's take a look. You hit me really, really hard, man. You hit me really hard. I think I'm seeing double. You know what I mean? Maybe I need to go see a hospital or something. Shut up! I am in the middle of very important work. I am on the verge here. So shut your skank ass pie hole and assist me and shut up! They said they were from Homeland Security. Also told me that if you or the big guy showed up, I should give him a call. I still owe you a beating. Oh, you mean because of that bun I took from you? Yeah, because of that bun they let you take from me. Howdy, future donut queen. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> oh, Don, so clever. <laughs> yeah. Come on! You know what I hate? Shut up and sit on this asshole! <laughs> I'm Arthur Hay. May I help you? Those robots for sale? Oh, no. They're an advanced strike force from the planet Zorgon. We're trying to neutralize them. If they escape, the Earth is doomed. I'm kidding. You speak fluent Japanese. We're an award-winning improv comedian. I've been tracking Dave Chappelle for the past six months. And I think I'm finally closing here. I swear to Just listen to this. Napoleon, the old romancer, said once, a woman laughing is a woman conquered. And I happen to believe it. Well, anyway, then I shall there. conquer. <laughs> I love this guy. Yes. Gotta tell you, love him. I really like this demo reel. There are a couple things that I think could be cut, definitely. But the thing about Hollywood is that when people move here from wherever they're from, everybody's so concerned about being pretty and thin and toned. And, and I gotta tell you, <laughs> there's always not this guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> I love a good character actor. <laughs> Because <coughs> they work nonstop, mm -hmm. and yes, they're specific, but they have so much richness to them. They have so much depth. They, they're so much more engaging to me than all the people who come here and think just being pretty is enough. And so someone like this, I will find cause to use him for anything. As a matter of fact, I am going to call him. Now that I've seen his demo, I have a role for him. I'm going to call him in for an audition next week. Fantastic. Wow. That is a successful Submission to the yes. real deal. I mean, yes. That's, I mean, and if he books it, oh my God. That'll be our first real deal success story. Wow. Amazing. You know, I like this guy too. I think that some of the things that could be taken out, maybe I, I, some of the news footage. I, you and I are sort of split on this. You like the news footage, the Good Morning America. Well, because thing I thought also. maybe that signifies, and I, I don't have his resume to look at, but I thought maybe that signifies in some way his success in, the, in another genre, meaning maybe as a stand up comic. Maybe as a comedy writer. I mean, he had to have something to talk about to be on Good Morning America. That's not something that every old person can just get on and be like, I feel like being on Good Morning America today. He has to have something to talk about. Yeah, but I think going back to, you know, when when you first put on his demo reel, let's just back you up. Like, when you right. first put on his demo reel. I thought, ooh, cool character. Amazing. And all of a sudden it's like, great acting, great acting. And then, oh, there's Jane Pauley. Or what? No, who was it? Who, who was the. John, was that John London? I don't know. I, I, I never get my blonde yeah, bubble was, heads right. <gasps> I mean, the hair, the hair, the oh. hair, the um, uh, hair. I, I wasn't watching it. I just saw Good Morning America. Yeah, I, I just, uh, I think it's kind and of... Not that I wasn't watching it. That deflates was... the moment. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's great acting, great acting, and all the news footage and all this other stuff. I think all that other stuff maybe could go in a montage at the beginning or end. You know, just to establish you know what? what you're saying. But I don't like the way you broke up his great acting. With, okay. with the with the promotional sort of look I was on the news thing. I mean, 
you, a, your baby can fall down a well and end up on the Good Morning America. You know, I mean, who cares? He was on Good Morning Maybe America. His baby I, I want to see him down the well. I want to see him acting. You know, and I I just think I think, and I'll and I'll disagree only for one specific reason. In that there is a snobbery in this business, and if he had something to promote in order to go on Good Morning America, the assumption would be that it would be something comedy related or acting. Maybe not acting related per se, because he does he not quite a name. So at maybe this it's point. about placement of the Good Morning America footage on the reel. Yeah. Maybe not in the middle of all the acting. I don't think he needed stuff. that, but I also don't think he needed that little um, science thing where he was a Dave Chappelle groupie or what was that? Dave Chappelle science Chappellian thing yeah. when he was wearing a lab coat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was kind um, of weird too. That wasn't necessary, and the part where he's speaking Japanese wasn't necessary. Well, that's the news footage. I think it's just gone. You know. I think the fact but that he I can speak... that he was... Well, I, I, I like the fact that he can speak the language. That's awesome. But put that under special skills, sweetie. You know what I mean? Like, no, but that's the thing is that everyone puts that under special skills and they can't really do it. So actually seeing it to okay. me says, okay, you can actually do this. I'll bring you in for the role of so-and-so who So then I think it's definitely Japanese. an editing thing. It's okay. definitely editing. It's a, take all these things. I mean, you've got footage that clearly the casting community is responding to. Okay. Um, I, I think that maybe... Just to reorganize it. A reorg. Yeah. <laughs> Is that your new... Your new LOL. Reorg. LOL. For those of you who missed that earlier episode, apparently he's text illiterate. Yes, I refuse to O-M-G. learn how to speak text. And I will not thumb type. So if I type F-U, you won't understand it? Oh, I'll know what that means. <laughs> But, uh, all right, so are we done with this uh, lovely actor? Yeah, I think David's awesome, and I look forward to reading him in person. Mm -hmm. This was a good demo reel to make note of. Obviously, a little reorganization, but, you know, that's just sort of changing some of the sprinkles on the cake, but so far, so good. Yes. Oh, you said cake. Mm. Mm. But you can have cake now, right? No. Because you're on that special no no love of life, no no enjoyment diet. No nothing diet. diet. I'm going to be back down to, uh, I'm going to be... Justin Bieber weight. That's what I want to be. Justin Bieber weight. Hence my new hair. Oh, boy. <laughs> Still don't get down to Brittany Murphy weight. Oh! Oof. We should know for the... Yeah, we, <laughs> we should know for the record that this I'm, episode's I'm being taped after she to... died. Oh, okay, fine. Um, I mean, she is dead. I know. All right, so I guess I'm no longer allowed to be offensive. So I I apologize to the community and to the entertainment community for making that comment. Um, I was hoping to be funny and add some humor to the show. That did not happen. But I apologize for my ill-chosen words, and I did not have sexual relations with that woman. (laughs) Me neither. (laughs) Captain Obvious. All right, well, thanks for watching The Real Deal on the Virtual Channel Network. We hope all this gets edited out so you never really saw most of this episode. Yes. Just David's fabulous demo reel and us saying goodbye.